I started rowing probably back in seventh grade. Just be my initial reason was my brother started it, and um, I don't know. It was one of those team sports that I didn't really know too much about. But once you kind of take your first stroke, it's uh, I don't know. It's a really cool feeling, and it just kind of got me hooked from day one. It's very physical, so it's hard, but it also has a certain element to it that is different from other sports, and I really appreciated that try. And just after doing it for a season, it was something that. I couldn't stop doing because it was so much fun. Uh, I think that there are really three main things that have encouraged me to join the team and have kept me on the team. Um, the first is that it's just fun, you know, to get out there on the water and to row hard, to exercise, but also to take a break from the mental activities of class is something that I find really rewarding. But also, um, I find that the, the teamwork and the camaraderie that you obtain from being on the rowing team is something that uh, it cannot be obtained anywhere else at Harvard. And so this has been a really valuable asset of my experience. It doesn't take born talent for rowing. It's one of those sports where if you work hard, then you can get the reward for it. And um, yeah, I think that really works well for you know working hard throughout life. And I think there's a lot of skills and lessons learned that are applicable outside rowing. Uh, my favorite thing about rowing, as I kind of mentioned already, is the teamwork. The fact that you are literally all in the same boat. You have to be rowing together, hitting the same rhythm, precisely moving with the person in front of you, um, and taking the exact same strokes. And it's something that, coming from a background of cross country and track, I didn't really get as much. Those are much more individual sports. I think the best thing is when you're rowing really well and the boat is really gliding um, across the water, it's like an amazing feeling that you get. My favorite memory from the sport, I think, was last year at the Harvard, Yale, Princeton regatta, which is like our biggest uh, spring season meet. I think hands down, that's probably HYP. So uh, last year, um, we raced Harvard, Yale, Princeton. Last year, um, at our, our biggest dual race, so it's the Harvard, Yale, Princeton race. Yeah, for me, it was actually the same experience, but um, more so my race in particular. We, we had come in as huge underdogs in this event. It was a really close race between um, our boat and the Princeton boat. We, had, we were coming off of a good season, but we lost to Navy the week before, so we really felt like we had something to prove, and we were ranked lower than Princeton. People had really low expectations of how we were supposed to do. Um, and we had two seniors in our boat who essentially got together before the road, and we were like, this is our last shot to win this one. We haven't won it in three years. Um, we got to go get it for these guys. And we were just kind of like, pulling even with them the entire race. We were like dead, dead next to each other going into the final sprint. In the last 200 meters, 150 meters, we just really all bought in and went as hard as we could essentially. And we were able to finish, I believe, 0.08 seconds ahead of the other boat. There's actually a photo of the finish. And I think we were ahead by about a down ball, like a couple inches, so that was really cool which was such a great feeling because it wasn't just winning by a tiny bit, it was also knowing that every single person in that boat was essential and that there wasn't any bit that wasn't completely necessary to making that win. So it felt really, really good coming off of, you know, wins and losses, just having something to be proud of as a boat was really fun. Um, so crossing the finish line first was huge for us to see sort of the pride that our seniors had and what we had accomplished so far in that year. And what we can do throughout the rest of the year. So it was great to be able to get that win for them because you can tell it meant a lot both to them and to us. Growing at Harvard has definitely made me more responsible, more uh, sort of proactive person. Growing has taught me to be um, very physically and mentally tough and to be persistent um, when overcoming obstacles. I think the lessons that I've taken from rowing um, are very applicable to other parts of my life, whether it's um, my academics or whether it's working professionally. Uh, perseverance is a really big one. And also the importance of hard work. That's something that you learn in all, all other sports, I think. But really in rowing, uh, the maximum is if you put in the time, then you'll be good. I think being able to cross the bridge every single day to come to the boathouse and practice, it's like, you're leaving that side of campus and coming into a completely different world. For me, like rowing, you have like we're a group of teammates, but we're teammates for life. And in a sense, I think rowing at Harvard is something that's very special. You know, it's a family. 
we're all brothers and sisters. Um, and, for, and for me, that means a lot because walking through this boat house, you have people who walked here over a century and have gone through the same paths, walked through the same footsteps, taken the same strokes, and to kind of realize that you're part of something greater than yourself, something historic like that, I think there's a great sense of you know, fellowship and camaraderie that comes through that. And that's something that you can, a community that you can hold on to and be a part of for the rest of your life.